Faraday's law of electrolysis. Faraday's law describes the relationship between the amount of electricity passed through an electrolytic cell and the amount of substances produced at electrode. Faraday's first law of the electrolysis. Faraday's first law states that the quantity of substance formed at an electrode is directly pro proportional to the quantity of electric charge supplied. The quantity of substance form, which is Q, and the mass of the substance discharge can be written as M proportional to the Q. As the electric charge in columns, so the formula will be changed to the Q equal to I and also T, which is I is the current in amperes, while the T is the time in second. The amount of substance form at the electrode may be calculated from the stoichiometry of the equation and knowing that the charge of one mole of electron is one Faraday. One Faraday is equal to the 96,500 coulombs. An example for the lithium ion needs one more electron to discharge to become lithium atom. This means that one more lithium needs one mole electron also equal to one Faraday which is 96,500 coulombs to become 6.9 gram. The second example is the magnesium. The magnesium ion needs two mole electron to discharge to become magnesium atom. This means that one mole of magnesium equal to two mole electron also the same as two Faraday which is 96 500 500 coulombs times 2 which give 24.31 gram. Look at example. An aqueous solution of copper sulfate is electrolyzed using the current of 0 0.150 ampere for 5 hours. Calculate the mass of copper deposited at the cathode. Since the question given the information, which is the current, which is I, and also the time of the electrolysis, which is T, then we can apply the formula of Q equal to I times T. From the information, we can check for the I is the unit ampere so that we just Put the 0 0.150 ampere in the formula but for the T the times is a five hours must be must be changed to the second which is five times 60 minutes and 60 second at last we calculate the column is equal to 2700 as we know, the one mole of electron is equal to one Faraday, which is 96,500 Coulomb. Then we can also know that the number of electron passed through this electrolysis is equal to become 2,700 Coulomb over the one Faraday, which is 96,500 Coulomb. And then we will get the mole number of the solution of copper sulfate involved. Copper ions needs two mole electron to deposit it to the copper solid. It is also can write as two mole electron be equal to one mole copper. In these reactions only 0 0.028 mole electrons used is also give 0 0.014 mole of copper. 
as the question asks for the mass of the copper, then we can calculate the mass of copper using the relative molecular mass of the copper given, which is 63.5 gram per mole. At last, the mass of copper deposited in this reaction will be the mole number, which is 0 0.014 times with the molar mass of the copper, which is 63.5. And the answer is 0 0.89 gram. This is the conclusion of how we can determine either the grams or the liters of the product from the electrolysis process. When the given information, which are current and also the time in second. The following is the, the first step is you need to find the product of current and time to get the charge of the column. And also after that, divide by the Faraday constant and will give you number of moles of electron. Using the coefficients in the balance equation, then we can get the, the mole ratio. After that, the number of moles of product can be determined. Use the molar mass or the molar volume to get the gram or the liters of the product as we need.